All right. So since we got this APAP duel going on, I decided to like tweak around my APAP team because previously I was using an Atlas and it was not that consistent because sometimes Atlas can push my uh, Lewis up and then it could, you know, sometimes ruin the run. Something like this. This was my previous team, but I've changed it now. I'm using a Ashley with 0% crit rate. This is very important. I'll tell you why in a bit. But yeah, this is the build. Oh, and yeah, I forgot to add one more thing. Your crit rate on Embla, uh, Stewart, and Lewis has to be 75% at least. Plus 75%, so 85% total. And your Drew needs to have 100% because he needs to crit the second wave. It's very consistent at four, uh, fastest is 14 turns. Um, the only time that you can fail is when Embla and Drew misses the defense break. And that's about like, uh, I'll put the numbers up, I don't really actually remember, but it's about 90%. The reason why Ashley has 0% security or rather 15% is because of the first wave. I'll show you how it goes. Right here, I made Embla the fastest so that she can glide the defense down. And it's also because of the uh, second wave and also the boss wave. So when Embla takes a turn, she's going to use her S3 onto one of them. And then Ashley uses S3, she doesn't crit. This is very important because if she crits, she puts the unit or the enemy below a certain threshold and Drew will use his S3 onto uh, the lowest enemy esper, uh, esper. I made Stuart go before Drew because I want him to, you know, on the off chance that my Ashley crits one of them, Drew kills that unit off because it will target the lowest HP first. So boom. And now my Drew takes a turn. Since the enemy is not below a certain HP threshold, he will not use his S2 and uh, oh, sorry, he will not use his S3 and instead use the S2 instead. Uh, instead, boom, right there. And now the second wave, Embla will never target the first two guys because all of them are at 100% HP. So the AI will target the uh, type disadvantage, which is the middle guy. She will use the S2, lowering the HP. And then right here, uh, depending on whether it actually crits or not, um, the middle guy is dead. But the best case scenario is actually not critting. So boom, she didn't crit right there. I'll show you a run where she crits. But she didn't crit, now Stuart will use the S2 onto the middle guy, not killing him. Boom. And now Drew will use the S3, killing all three. Just like that. Now the boss wave. It is very straightforward. Everyone nukes. Now, boom, we landed the defense break. At least, uh, sorry, Ashley uses the S3, Stuart S3, and then Drew, whatever, right? He uses S2. And then right here, Lewis is also very important right here to get the, the thingy explosion. And then 14 turns, pretty consistently. You need skill ups on Embla, you need skill ups on Ashley, and you don't need skill ups on Lewis, but it can help your run significantly. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you a run if Ashley crits, right? A scenario where Ashley crits, I'll just simulate it, right? Boom, Embla is not going to change. Alright, for example, she crits both of these units, and then Stuart will kill one of them. Drew will then use his S3 right here. So he uses S3 because the enemy is uh, below a certain threshold. And then now he doesn't have the S3. So the cycle will be, it's still doable. Right here, the enemy has low HP. He's going to use his S3. Now Lewis doesn't have his S3 up during the boss phase. But it's still okay. He takes one turn, he doesn't do anything. And then Drew takes a turn. Everyone has their cooldowns up except for Lewis. Now the run is going to be like this. Okay, perfect. We, we even didn't get a defense break, so I'll show you a run where we didn't get a defense break. We got a defense break with Drew. It's still doable. But it, there's an off chance that you might lose still because one of the tablets, I'm not sure which one is it, he can actually stun your unit, so that could be a problem. If he stuns too many, then you're still gonna be screwed. And there we go. So we missed the defense break on Embla. And this is pretty much the worst case scenario, uh, except for you know missing both defense break. 
But yeah, this is the next worst case scenario and we still managed to clear it within 25 turns. This team on the leaderboard, I, I thought I was going to get like top 50 or something with this team, but it turns out there's already someone using this team um, right here. His team is really, his, his runes are really weird. As you can see, he's using a very weird offset build. And that's because um, he's using Embla to clear the wave 1. So his wave 1 is only uh, Embla nuking with the S3 and then Ashley nukes killing that one unit off and then everyone dies because he has an r2 embla which uh then kills off everyone so his turn one uh, sorry his phase one is only two turns his phase two is one two uh three so five turns in total and his boss phase is one two three four five six so 11 turns in total very good team but requires r2 embla um and also a 100% crit rate Ashley. Uh, mine is using 0% crit rate. But yeah, I'll show you like a 10 run sped up. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Ciao.